yesterday with Alec, with Eric Chung and uh, we are looking forward to this because look who's starting alongside him on pole position it's Eric Chung uh, so we're going to see uh, that battle resume probably so Eric Chung on pole position Murat Kuhara Roglu alongside Eric Kirschmeier Eric Ernst Kirschmeier and Henrik Jansen on the second row Ken Abe and Lauren Demuse on the third Christian Kinch and James Valand another the one who's had a bad weekend. Fon Scheltmer and Tani Hanna, uh, who was yesterday's winner. And uh, then Romelli and Boris Gideon uh, at the uh, next row, the sixth row. Uh, of course, the uh, grid handicaps kicking in for this race. Uh, Tommy Lindroth and Alex Fox, uh, David Liam and Matthias Moser, uh, Dusan Paukra and Alex Nussbaumer, 18th on the grid, and then bringing up the rear of the grid uh, all on her own is Agata Smolka, who's not had a good qualifying session today, it has to be said. Uh, poor old Aggie. Uh, she was doing well yesterday and uh, winning in uh, category. There we see the Ken Abe car, uh, a resplendent midnight blue car. That really does look nice, doesn't it? And uh, he is uh, starting uh, all the way down on the inside third row, so not too far back, in fact. We're looking at fours from Giuseppe Romelli's car, and you can see the rain on the windscreen, and uh, visibility is only going to get worse, it has to be said. Uh, I'm going to just take this uh, opportunity to introduce uh, the man sitting alongside me quickly. Uh, this is Nico Spalek. Hello, Nico. Ready hello, for Brian. action. Absolutely. Hello, Brian. Uh, absolutely ready for action, and we can still see precipitation coming down something between snow and rain but it has looking out the window it has subsided quite substantially it was significantly stronger not to indicate that we'll have anything like a dry race at some point in the next 45 minutes but certainly isn't coming down as much as it might have like an hour ago yeah so I mean, it was chucking it down an hour ago wasn't it and uh, your, uh, your theory that they were going to be uh, starting on slicks today, uh, it's not, not likely to uh, come about? <laughs> no, I don't think there was any <laughs> chance in uh, slick ties being used today. Although I would have said probably the same 24 hours ago. And then in the second race for Trofeo Pirelli, actually it was a dry race. But uh, the weather forecast certainly um, says, uh-uh, that's well, not going to happen. Yeah, and uh, one of the things we did notice yesterday is this track, when it does stop raining or snowing, this tra track does dry out very quickly. And we saw yesterday a dry line appearing pretty rapidly um, during the uh, Trofeo Pirelli race. Uh, so, uh, yeah, all is not lost. I have to say I'm not holding my breath on uh, using the slick tyres uh, today. Uh, it's certainly going to be a wet start and uh, as we've mentioned we're starting behind the safety car so that means that when the cars start rolling in a few moments the race will effectively be up and running. Uh, we won't have any formation laps or warming up laps or whatever you want to call them. Uh, from the moment the cars pull off the grid the race will be running and the 30 minute clock will be ticking down. Yeah, which is a bit of a shame because that means we obviously get less net race time, but certainly from a safety point of view, that's absolutely the right decision. Um, it will deprive us of the opportunity to see Eric Chung and Murat Kuhadaruglu <laughs> side by side for the race start. But nevertheless, we look forward to the start of the race in just a few minutes' time. Let's have a, a listen to Alexander Nussbaumer, who starts 18th on the grid. Okay, that wasn't Alex Newsbarmer, was it? <laughs> We're getting ready for race two of uh, the Copper Shell series. Uh, we maybe we can hear from Alex in a bit. There you can see the cars on the grid, and as Nico has uh, already said, we are looking forward to the resumption of the battle between Eric Chung and Murat Kuharoglu. Uh, the two of them came together in yesterday's race while challenging for the lead, so in exactly the positions they were in now, albeit with uh, Murat first and Eric Chung second. Second, and Eric Chung picking up a drive-through penalty uh, for his part in that incident. And uh, Murat Kuharuglu, uh, not a happy chappy after that. He got out of the car and he thumped the roof and uh, 
definitely uh, not a happy camper. Okay, here we go. This is the interview with Alex Nussbammer that we promised you. He starts 18th on the grid and uh, let's have a chat to him now and see what his thoughts are of today. Hi, my name is Alexander Nussbaum. I'm here in Spielberg in the wet and cold conditions. Here we have a lot of possibilities to fight, to lose time and to gain time. It will be very interesting to see the race afternoon. Have fun, watch it. So Alex uh, had a good race yesterday in the AM category, finishing uh, second. Uh, he uh, took the second step on the podium. Uh, the winner of the AM category yesterday was Agata Smoker, and of course she starts at the back of the grid. And uh, third place in the AM category went to Boris Gideon. In the Shell category, our winner was Tani Hanna, and he drove a cracking race, avoiding the incident between uh, Chung and Kuhar Ruglu uh, to take the win. Uh, Von Scheltemer, with the distinctive shark teeth on the front of his car, came splashing through the water for second place. And Christian Kinch, uh, who's uh, had a fairly quiet weekend, but uh, managed to get, a, uh, get back up into uh, third place uh, on the podium for yesterday's race. So here we go, the race is underway. Uh, we are behind the safety car, the clock is ticking and uh, 30 minutes of rolling. I won't say racing because we're not racing as such, uh, but 30 minutes or 28 and a half minutes now lie ahead of us and we look uh, the view from Giuseppe Romelli's car and the view is Horrific, I think it'd be fair to say. <laughs> well, yes, it is certainly not ideal. On the other hand, um, sh while the drivers are not at top speed by any stretch of the ima imagination yet, um, I would have almost pictured it to be worse. And it certainly doesn't look like there is a lot of standing water there. And given that we, there you can see on the left hand side, there was quite a big puddle. But I believe with two potentially three laps behind the safety car that will be enough to just form a reliable level of wetness uh, where yeah. the drivers are going to be certainly overtaking in the initial phases of the race will be very difficult because once you get off that line you will have all kinds of different unpredictable conditions there but um, in actual fact given that there hasn't been a lot of running on the track in the last few hours I would have imagined it to be even worse than that yeah, um, well yesterday conditions were probably a, not as bad as this and we had two laps behind the safety car before we went into green flag racing and these two laps uh, are so important not only to try and establish uh, some kind of I wouldn't say dry dry land uh, but uh, a bit of it clear some of the water from the racing line but also to get tires and especially brakes up to temperature in these conditions. We can just see sorry for interrupting that uh, Christian Kinch, number 128, who was P8 on the grid, has dived into the pit lane for some reason. I'm sure he didn't opt for slicks and yes. decided <laughs> to change tyres, but apparently something wrong with his car, yeah. and we'll try to find out what that is, and hopefully he can rejoin, but uh, certainly not the ideal start. No, and he was our third place finisher yesterday, Christian, and uh, he'll be disappointed with that. So that effectively moves uh, von Scheltemer up into the eighth position uh, while uh, Christian is in the pits. Uh, we have no notification yet of how long these cars are going to be behind the safety car as we look there at the uh, 136 car of Alexander Nussbaumer, who we heard from before the race started. You can see the snow coming down, uh, the brave hardy uh, souls who are out on the terraces. And uh, we've mentioned it before, we said again, uh, uh, kudos to the, the staff that are out on track, the marshals, the cameramen who are bringing these pictures, the cameramen and women who are bringing you these pictures, uh, and we say hats off to them. It's all right for us. We're sat in uh, an air-conditioned uh, studio at the moment, uh, but they're the ones out there trying to make the best of a uh, of a good job here and uh, not ideal conditions. Yeah, but they're in their rhythm, so that <laughs> was really good to see that they're not, uh, not too losing miserable. the fun and they're seeing the funny side of things. Uh, Christian Kinch is seeing the funny side of the racetrack again, obviously now having dropped to the back of the grid, but he is uh, 
out on the track again, so made a stint to the pit and then came out for whatever the reason was. Mm -hmm. um, we are entering the final stages of this uh, second lap and uh, no indication of the safety car coming in, so at least another lap yes. uh, under safety car conditions for the drivers. But you can already see on this shot very well that there is something uh, like a racing line developing within the wetness of this and there the last car in your shot Aggie Smolka as you said winner of the race yesterday in her class that meant that um, she dropped way down the order on top of a not superb qualifying especially by her standards so that leaves her with lots of overtaking opportunities if you want to look at the bright side <laughs> we like that opportunities uh, from the back um, a lot of uh, today's uh, racing uh, will be survival of the fittest. Uh, yesterday, so many people that were in good positions on the track who then uh, got two wheels onto the painted surface and spun. And uh, we just see a replay here of, and there you just see that, and we're at a fairly slow speed. And there's Eric Chung with the back end stepping out. Uh, we have notification from race control that the safety car will be in on this lap. And you saw the Eric Chung car there. Uh, this is going to be lively, I think. Uh, not a lot of grip to be had. The cars are into sector two at the moment. You can check out our social media, hashtag Ferrari Challenge. Uh, why not uh, follow us, Ferrari Races, on the Twitter. Let us know what you're thinking. Facebook.com forward slash Ferrari Races. Uh, we are getting ready to go racing. 23 and a half minutes left of this. Uh, we're in the back section at the moment in sector two, looking back from the Hublot safety car. Uh, it very, very shortly, uh, the safety car will disappear off into the distance and Eric Chung will become the de facto pace car. Murak Kuharuglu looking for vengeance after yesterday's incident uh, will be chomping at his heels, I have no doubt at all. <laughs> yeah, and then there's Ernst Kirschmeier, the local man who had a torrid day yesterday, but uh, he's in P3, so if those two happen to come to grief, which we don't hope, he will be there ready to pounce, but in any event, he will be looking to improve on his lowly position yesterday, as will many of the other drivers here. And Sorry to interrupt that man who just went through the screen there. Keep an eye on Tani Hanna because uh, he has got a sixth place grid drop uh, courtesy of his win yesterday. Uh, but he is going to be a man on a mission in this race. So we will be watching Tani Hanna very, very closely. Uh, the safety car is uh, getting ready to disappear. In fact, it's ducked off into the pits and the cars come around the final corner to see five green lights. We are racing here. It's the Copper Shell Race two in round three of the Ferrari Challenge Europe and is Eric Chung in the lead and just going very tentatively into the corner we saw leading and contender Henrik Janssen and already Murat Kuharuglu is having a look at the Eric Chung car while Ernst Kirschmeil taking a look on the outside of Murat Kuharuglu and he's now onto the inside Ernst Kirschmeil is he going to snatch second position away and what a great move Ernst Kirschmeil not only past uh, Murat Kuharuglu, but also past Eric Chung. Brilliant driving, kept it all together, and Ernst Kirschmeier takes the lead. Now Murat Kuharuglu alongside Eric Chung. They race side by side towards turn four with Murat Kuharuglu on the inside. Eric Chung with the back end stepping out, being very, very careful not to make contact. And it's Murat Kuharuglu who goes through into second place. Oh, yeah, that was a very sideways moment, but well controlled. Luckily, just enough space on the inside for Murat to get through through there cleanly and Ernst Kirschmeier that's track knowledge I would say he definitely made that move or both moves actually based on his knowledge of the circuit from P3 to P1 and as you said first turn everyone kind of backed off each other left each other a lot of racing room because no one seemed to be 100% sure how the brakes would work but Ernst Kirschmeier from that turn onwards just turned Brilliant. it up and up into P1. And I would say uh, yesterday's incident between Murat Kuharuglu and Eric Chung, I would say there was nothing malicious in that at all. So I expect Eric Chung uh, probably uh, 
working very hard to not allow a repeat of that to happen because I can't imagine that there was anything malicious in that yesterday. And uh, he gave Murat plenty of room, uh, getting out wide himself. And now Murat uh, making a move towards Ernst Kirschmeier in the lead, maybe just taking a little bit, uh, very hard to say. In fourth place, our leading AM contender, Henrik Janssen. Uh, and uh, he is got uh, Ken Abe for company uh, who is running fourth. In fact, uh, uh, Henrik pulling away from Ken Abe now. Uh, great driving from this uh, new driver to the series as we see Eric Chung just getting a little bit squirrely under braking. You see the back end of the car snaking out and you get an idea of uh, what the view is like uh, from first place looking back towards uh, Murat Kuharuglu. That's the view that uh, Ernst Kirschmeier would have if he was uh, looking behind him, which I'm sure he's not at the moment. So our first three, Ernst Kirschmeier, who we're riding on board with at the moment, Murat Kuhara Ruglu in second, uh, with a gap now to Eric Chung and uh, Henrik Janssen, uh, who's relatively on his own, Ken Abe next, and Lauren Demuse, uh, who's uh, in sixth place. Yeah, absolutely. In the M category, just to look at that, there is Henrik Jensen, as you said, Lauren Demuse second, and then Giuseppe Romelli currently running P3. Yesterday's winner, Aggie Smolka, has made up three places already in the race thus far. So uh, moving up the order, as we kind of expected, even in these very, very difficult and treacherous conditions, where uh, you need not only need to be aware of your own whereabouts, but you're never sure that the other car next to you will get the breaking point just right so you really need to tread with a lot of care yeah there we are Ernst Kirschmeier our leader who is tiptoeing through the snow and you can see it is really snowing quite hard again uh, this is the kind of weather we've been having on and off all day today and uh, making driving uh, conditions very very hazardous there's uh, Henrik Janssen the leading AM contender uh, he is fourth on the track but first in class and once again uh, Henrik is just showing great maturity uh, with his driving. He uh, had two wins in Valencia. His first two races he won despite the handicap. And then yesterday in the rain, brought it home into fifth place. So uh, a properly solid performance from uh, Henrik Janssen there. And then we see Eric Chung. Just, you just get the sense that um, everybody is just taking it a little bit easier today and uh we know say that, that. Uh, <laughs> you see eric chung uh, sliding the back maybe eric's not um it's uh, it's got to be tip of the fingertips kind of stuff here you're you are tiptoeing around uh trying not to aquaplane uh there's a limit to how much water these uh parade tires can shift uh at these speeds and uh so you're just tiptoeing around just riding that fine line between grip and aquaplaning absolutely and the undulation of the circuit makes it actually more difficult because you have running water mm. on in certain stretches especially in those small dips like we have at this point you will have water collecting after each lap so this is especially difficult to judge when you are into the turn and there is an incline on top of yes. the slippery track already we said to uh, keep an eye out for Tani Hanna, and there he is uh, in eight. Oh, and we have a spinner. Is that Agata? Looks like Aggie. Yes, it is. Agata Smoker, who has spun, and that is out on just before turn seven. That's been a, a, a regular haunting ground for quite a few drivers uh, this weekend who have had trouble with that corner, especially Slippery. Uh, doesn't look like she's got any damage, so uh, Aggie rejoining uh, now uh, right back where she started the race at the very rear of the grid, and that's a real shame. Maybe it is, she survived, she's not in the gravel trap, so uh, she continues to fight another day. We have a little replay of it here, and uh, just completely lost it, looked like it was on her own. Uh, Alexander Nussbaumer did well to avoid her. And here we have a replay of Tani Hanna and uh, Von Scheltemer. So uh, Tani Hanna moving up into eighth place. Uh, we were uh, 
looking at what his progress might be. I think the weather probably uh, slowing down the progress just a little, but good progress there indeed. Uh, he was yesterday's winner was Tani Hanna, and uh, he continues to move forward in the field. There's the standings uh, that we've just flashed up on your screen. It's uh, Ernst Kirschmeyer in the lead with Murat Kuharuglu in second, Eric Chung in third. Leading and contender is fourth on the road. That's Henrik Janssen. Ken Abe is fifth. And Laurent Demuse uh, round out our top six. Uh, the graphic on the screen there saying battling for fifth position. That's fifth in category. Uh, so that's not on the uh, fifth on the track. That's fifth in category. And that's the 168 car there of uh, David Lim, who has spun. And uh, the... Uh, Who's that? That's just coming round. Oh, good. That's Matthias just Moser, off the I So Matthias Moser just oh, taking avoiding action from him. And there we see a replay. I don't know if it's water or ice. I imagine it's just water. But uh, the moment that car snaps away, you are a passenger. And here's Tani Hanna. And here he is again, uh, taking to the curbs, looking for a route past James Valand. That back end steps out. James Valand uh, driving an unfamiliar car after an encounter with the tyre barriers and qualifying yesterday left his uh, car uh, a lot worse for wear. So uh, Tani Hanna now making his move uh, on uh, James Valand uh, for fifth in category. And uh, Tani uh, just uh, looking in control in these conditions. I hope that's not a curse. As we see the 117 car uh, of Dusan Pauka uh, alongside David Lim and making a move into 17th place. So uh, that's a step forward for Dusan Pauka in the AM category. Yeah, and you can really see that the weather is deteriorating. The conditions are becoming worse and worse. For everybody except Ernst Kirschmeier, A, he has a clear visibility and the safety car has come out. Ah, we're just being car. informed and we're not seeing any signs of an incident yet. I can imagine that that is just, just conditions. race control saying yeah. the conditions are not yeah. raceable enough. Uh, Ernst Kirschmeier, incidentally, um, he was taking almost two seconds out of everyone else per lap. So just going back to that track knowledge, um, he really is leading and obviously he now who had built a 5.4 second lead is reeled back in mm. we hope that we will go back to racing looking out the window it's not really a, a certainty I have to admit no it isn't and with uh, 13 minutes left of this race we have gone over the half distance uh, I get the feeling we're just going to be doing a few laps behind the safety car everybody's still running so that's good and uh, it's uh, it's always good to see that uh, we, even in these conditions, we haven't actually lost anybody despite a couple of spins. Sorry, my hesitation was the, the our on-screen graphics were actually saying that uh, Ernst Kirschmeier was stationary, but uh, I don't think he is. And look at those conditions. Uh, absolute blizzard conditions. And that's confirmation that Ernst Kirschmeier is indeed not stationary. Uh, looking back from the Hublot safety car, and uh, we are back down to uh, fairly slow conditions. We've got some replays here. Uh, that's uh, Ernst Kirschmeier on the inside of Murat Kuharuglu right at the beginning of the race, and then on to uh, Eric Chung. And that really was a cracking move from Ernst Kirschmeier, taking two places in one corner. And there's that, that shot of Eric Chung uh, sliding the back end, uh, working very hard not to repeat yesterday's incident with Murat Kuharoglu. And uh, Murat there uh, just shutting the door and holding on to that second place. Some great shots there in the rain and in the snow. <laughs> and look at it coming down. It's May, for goodness sake. It's not meant to be like this. I brought, I packed my shorts. <laughs> Did you now? <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, so there we have it. N not sure uh, whether we're going to be getting this going again or not. I'm, and I don't know what the point situation will be if we uh, finish behind the safety car. I'm thinking because we have... Uh, gone past half distance that if we were to finish behind the safety car uh, full points would be awarded and that really would uh, uh, work very nicely for Ernst Kirschmeier wouldn't it? We've got uh, 11 minutes 
left of this race and uh, visibility is down to zero. And uh, we're just looking here at some images from around this Spielberg track.
some wonderful shots there, as always, from our uh, production crew. And uh, you get an idea of just quite how challenging the conditions are out there for everybody involved uh, in this race. Uh, it's snowing heavily, and because of that, we are behind the safety car. Track conditions uh, considered to be just a little bit too hazardous to keep going. Our leader is Ernst Kirschmeier with Murat Kuhara Roglu in second and Eric Chung in third. And uh, our leading AM uh, contender is Henrik Janssen. Uh, and he's fourth on the road with Laurent Demuse, uh, who is sixth on the road and he's second in the AM category. With Giuseppe Romelli down in 10th, who is currently third in this category. We've just been uh, uh, looking at the rule book. Well, uh, Nico has anyway, because he's the man who can. And uh, we are uh, just deliberating whether this race will actually uh, resume under green flag conditions. Uh, we believe that we are past the point that if they did choose to stop the race, um, we uh, would uh, get full points. Yeah, it's the 75% mark is, uh, and we're just seeing red flag and that is just uh, the result of the fact that the race control sees no chance yeah. in resuming this race uh, with any level of safety for the drivers and everyone else involved, which obviously is and needs to be paramount. So unfortunately, uh, while we love the Winter Wonderland pictures, um, this is the right decision. And it is. Uh, with five minutes and change remaining, um, and the weather certainly not looking like it's letting up. Um, <laughs> I wish I brought my skis, I know that. Um, yes, yeah, so we, uh, we believe now looking at the rule book because we had uh, gone past the 75% that uh, the drivers will get full points for this, won't they? Uh, is that yes. your understanding of it? That is my or our understanding. Good. Uh, so yes, conditions considered to be too hazardous uh, to resume racing. So the red flags are out with uh, five minutes left. And uh, I think it's unlikely that this race will then be restarted. We'll wait to hear about that uh, just to be absolutely sure. Uh, but as things stand at the moment, it's looking like Ernst Kirschmeier, who is likely to be uh, yes. And we've had confirmation the race will not resume. So your winner for the show category, a shortened race is Ernst Kirschmeier, who takes the first place. And uh, Murat Kuharuglu in second, making up a little bit for his uh, clash with Eric Chung yesterday, and Eric himself finishing in third. Fourth across the line is the leading AM driver, and that is Henrik Janssen. Uh, fifth across the line, Ken Abe for the Shell category. Uh, sixth will be uh, Lauren de uh, and he will take second in category in the AMs. Uh, Jay Valand, uh, not too bad considering the day he had yesterday uh, in the shell category, finishes seventh. Tani Hanna not really getting the chance to show what he can do from further back on the grid, and uh, he's coming home in eighth. Uh, P9 is uh, Fons Scheltema in the 177 car. Uh, tenth would be Giuseppe Romelli, and he will be the uh, third podium position in the AM category. And we see Ernst Kirschmeier jumping out of the car there. I'm sure that uh, is maybe not the race he was expecting, but it's a victory, and I'm sure he'll take it. Just don't fall off the roof, for goodness sake. <laughs> Ernst Kirschmeier, uh, a, a, I mean, he's a winner because uh, he qualified in wet hazardous conditions and he kept it on the road and he drove brilliantly um, at the start of that race. Uh, that move into the lead uh, was excellent and uh, that's a definite improvement on his eighth place from yesterday. And that goes with his uh, win from uh, the second race in Valencia, uh, which gives him a pretty good points haul, I'd say. He said he was gonna take the racing a bit more seriously this year and uh, pursue it a bit more full time. He said that to us in Bahrain and that he is doing. Uh, there's the uh, 172 car of Giuseppe Romelli, and uh, he is third in the AM category. Well, I think everyone who has made it to the podium has earned it. I think everyone who has made it to the finish line has earned it. And that's everyone. <laughs> and, uh, remarkably, that is everyone as far as we can tell. 
and um, we will have a look at some of the highlights of this race. I mean, it, the actual race time was a little shortened, but we had some very scenic images here. So there's the highlights from a uh, shortened race here in Spielberg uh, for round three, race two of the Copper Shell Ferrari Challenge Series. And there you see our first three cars. There was a race that started behind the safety car because of the hazardous conditions. And Ernst Kirschmeyer drove a brilliant race, a really mature race uh, to pass Murat Kuharoglu and Eric Chung in one corner and uh, win in the uh, shell category with uh, Henrik Janssen winning the AM category from Laurent Demuse and Giuseppe Ramelli. Uh, so we started behind the safety car and uh, we then resumed back behind the safety car after a few spinners just because conditions were too bad. Uh, the race ran for 25 minutes in total, which was a pretty good effort, but the best thing of all is that all 19 cars finished. What a result. And uh, we're gonna head over to the podium now for our podium ceremony. So as the snow continues to fall here at the Spielberg circuit, look at it coming down. It doesn't bode well for getting back to the airport tonight, does it, Nico? Uh, we look at our classification. Ernst Kirschmeyer, Murat Kuhan Roglu, Eric Chung, Ken A, James Valen, Tanya Hanna, Von Schelsmer, Tommy Lindroth. He's had a quiet weekend so far. Christian Kinch, who had that uh, unscheduled pit stop early on in the race, came back to ninth. And Matthias Moser. Uh, so, we just having a look at some nice slow-mo shots there. Eric Chung in third place. Uh, good slow-mo uh, picture of him splashing through the puddles on the track. And uh, definitely a better day today than he had yesterday. And then second place, Murat Kuharuglu for Kessel Racing uh, with that distinctive Turkish flag on the bonnet. And again, uh, he will be a lot happier than he was yesterday, picking up a good haul of points and also picking up a grid penalty for the next race at Le Mans, uh, courtesy of his performance handicap for finishing second in this race. And there's your winner. It's the local man, Ernst Kirschmeyer, uh, who uh, showed a clean pair of heels to everybody, drove a great race, uh, overtaking move of the day without a doubt. And he takes the top step of the podium. Yeah, look, he will be a happy man. He looked a little disappointed yesterday, already before the race, after qualifying, but he'll be looking much happier today, I'm sure of it. So we're just waiting for the drivers to be ushered up to the podium, and as we hear uh, the announcer's voice, I think we are about to get the first <laughs> shots of the podium. 
if there's even a camera that can penetrate the <laughs> snowfall and give us a real picture of that, there is. You can just see Von Skeltomer there. There is uh, Eric Chung. Chung yeah, P3. I think probably a little bit philosophical after, and it's good to see him shaking hands with Murat Kuduruglu actually in second, uh, because uh, there was a bit of tension after yesterday's clash. But there's your winner, Ernst Kirschmeier. Uh, and uh, he's done very, very well. And uh, it's the first time I've seen snow on the podium in a while. Here we go for the national anthem. So nice to hear the uh, Austrian uh, national anthem as we see Eric Prinot there. He's been driving the uh, safety car this weekend. Uh, a long-time uh, protagonist in the uh, Ferrari Challenge who's now taken uh, the back seat. And there's uh, Eric Chung receiving the third place trophy from Miguel Molina, who's the official Ferrari GT driver and has been working hard with the stewards this afternoon. <laughs> and there's the winner, Ernst Kirschmeier. Uh, that's become a bit of a signature, the double, double digits in the air, hasn't it? Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Austrian circuit, Austrian winner, Austrian team, and not in this shot now is uh, Philip Barron, former Ferrari Challenge. There he is, uh, champion in Europe, world champion, Austrian as well. So that's a home win if you can ever imagine one here in the Ferrari Challenge in Spielberg. And uh, I think the drivers are already pretty wet um, <laughs> from the snowfall, but I get the hunch they might double that up <laughs> double with some wet. bottle yes. liquid <laughs> well it's quite appropriate all the austrian <laughs> stuff here. show them how to do it the all the austrian uh, the winner and the circuit and the snow as well is very appropriate really isn't it uh, we should they should be giving them glue vine on the uh, podium i reckon so <laughs> yes from formula racing big smile that is from formula racing uh, is it again uh, big smiles all around and uh, the uh, champagne uh, goes uh, flying <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think everyone just wants to get in and warm up now, don't they? Uh, right, there we go. Oh, how pretty That's is Christmas. that? Christmas. <laughs> Happy Christmas, everybody. Uh, so in the uh, uh, Drivers' Championship, Tony Hanna's lead is cut down slightly by Ernst Kirschmeier, uh, but he's still got a healthy lead. Eric Chung in third, uh, Christian Kinch fourth, Ken Abe fifth. Von Scheltema sixth. Uh, but you see, there's uh, 89 points to Tani Hanna at the top of the championship. Uh, so a good 14 points, uh, using my uh, fingers and toes there to work that out from Ernst Kirschmeier. Uh, On to the AM category now. We see Giuseppe Romelli uh, working his way through the snow and the mist and the fog at uh, this Christmas time. And the rain, water, the melted snow pouring off his diffuser. Second place, Laurent Demuse. Uh, he's always there or thereabouts, isn't he? And always nice to see Lauren on the podium. And uh, he finishes second, but the winner again, it's that man. And uh, he really is uh, making people sit up and take notice. Heinrich Janssen, Henrik Janssen. I need to learn to pronounce his name really, don't I? Henrik Janssen. Uh, he wins the AM category. So he has now taken part in four Ferrari races and he has won three of them despite grid penalties. So I say kudos to Henrik Janssen. Yeah, definitely. And you mentioned grid penalties, but uh, we'll focus on that later on. Here he is, <laughs> moonwalking. Moonwalk. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, what a character. And uh, just sliding on the snow, eh? Uh, so there we go. There's our top three. It's the national anthem. So the national anthem plays out there, and uh, Henrik yes. I want him to teach me how to do the moonwalk. Uh, right, there we go, trophy presentation time, and uh, everybody can go back in in the warm then. Uh, so there we go, first and second place, that's Miguel Molina again presenting the trophies. Uh, but there's your winner, Henrik Janssen. Uh, brilliant driving, he kept it all together. 
while uh, the conditions were so slippery. And uh, now posing for the photograph with the team boss of uh, Formula Racing. Alan Jurgensen, yeah. I mean, he, they manufacture a great team, great drivers, great coaching as do all the teams which are represented here. Castle Octane 1 to 6 um, and Baron Services, of course. FF Corsa. <laughs> <laughs> and did you see? He tried to do the, uh, the the beating of the underside of the bottle on his thigh. I think he probably got himself more than he got anybody else. <laughs> uh, you, it's great, uh, the, uh, the release of tension after a, uh, after a busy race. We're going to have a look at the classifications now and uh, just see where the championship is uh, standing. I think any second now, just as we're watching the uh, snow coming down and there's uh, uh, some uh, very brave Ferrari drivers going out on the track. There we go. There's the championship. So Laurent de Moose uh, is at the top of the championship, but uh, just two points behind him now. Two points and two points is Henrik Janssen. <laughs> and then two points, points behind him, Agata Smoker. So it's all to play for at the uh, Shell category championship in the amateur categories. Join us later for Trofeo Pirelli.